Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode with me, Liam, talking about birth control. If you haven't seen my other episodes, check them out um, in the playlist, especially the first one in this playlist. It's all about how birth control works on our bodies to prevent us from getting pregnant. So if you haven't seen that one, definitely check it out first. It's really important to get some baseline knowledge of how birth control works on our body before we jump into learning about what birth control is and uh, what times there are. So go check that one out first, come back, check out this one. This one is all about the pill. The pill is probably the most common form of birth control out on the market, and it probably has the most um, types. So there's like literally hundreds of different kinds of birth control pills you can take. Uh, they're all incredibly similar. They all work on uh, either progesterone, estrogen, or both. Um, and they're all you know very, very similar, taking them once a day, things like that. This version that I have right here is a three-month supply. Um, other versions, one-month supply is this guy. So um, the difference between a one-month supply and a three-month supply is that the one-month supply one, you get your period once every month. With the three-month supply one, you only get your period or your period type thing every three months, which, you know, I've never had a period, so I don't know what they're like. But a lot of people tell me that having your period only three times or only four times a year instead of 12 times a year is way better. So it's something to think about. But whether you have the one month kind or the three month kind, taking them and using them are very, very similar. So you'll see you got enough pills for the whole month. Seven pills, four weeks, pretty much a month. Um, you take one pill every single day for the three months. And then that last week, you'll see is yellow. That's when you're going to have your period or your period type thing. And so the yellow ones don't have hormones in them. And so your body's like, all right, we're going to flush out any uh, cervical mucus and uh, uterine lining that's built up over these past three months. And then we will start all over again. Um you do remember, so I did say you have to take it every single day. So unlike the other versions, the patch you take once a week, um, the, uh, the ring you insert once a month, the shot you take every three months, the IUD, depending on which one you get, can be anywhere from 12 years, four years to 12 years, and the implant is five years. Um, so this one you have to take every single day, which does make it the most common one to mess up. Um, and so because of that, its effectiveness with typical use is only about 91% effective uh, because we forget to take our birth control pills. Um, and it happens, you know, I don't take birth control, but I cannot imagine trying to take a pill every single day. It seems like it'd be really, really hard. And so if you're like me, who's like, I can't take a pill every single day, think about one that you don't have to worry about every day. If you are someone who thinks you can take a birth control pill every single day, set a reminder on your phone to remind you to take it. Uh, one thing I hear from kids is that they take it, and I mean kids, uh, anybody, right? Uh, they take it first thing when they wake up, which sounds like a really great idea. You know, it's easy to remember. I put it by my bed with a glass of water, take it right when I wake up, all set to go. The problem with that is, especially for teenagers, they wake up at what, six o'clock on Friday to go to school, but then on Saturday, they might be sleeping until noon. So from six o'clock on Friday morning to noon Saturday, that's too long for your body to go without birth control. You want your body to, you need to be taking your birth control about the same time every single day. Um, there is a little fluctuation, about an hour or two fluctuation, but six hours is not the kind of fluctuation we're looking for. So if you're always taking your birth control late on Saturday and Sunday and then early on Monday, your hormones are going to kind of get out of whack and it could cause you to get pregnant. Another thing to remember is that if you do miss one pill, you can take two pills the next day to get your hormone levels back up. But if you continuously miss your pill, um, it's just going to cause your hormone levels to fluctuate too much and uh, you could get pregnant. So that's why the birth control pill is a little bit less effective than other versions, just because there's so much user error. There's so much ability to forget to take your pill. Um, another really important thing to remember about birth control pills is that they become ineffective if you're on anti antibiotics. So if you're on antibiotics because of an infection or whatever, 
um, your birth control pills aren't going to work. And so I've talked to some people who have gotten pregnant while taking antibiotics and their birth control pill because they didn't know the antibiotics uh, counteracted birth control pills. So make sure if you are on antibiotics and you're taking birth control pills to use some other form of protection like condoms uh, or just skip having sex at all until you are done using your antibiotics. Unlike other forms of birth control we talked about, they do not protect you from STIs. These are only hormones that are protecting you from pregnancy. Uh, you also want to make sure you never use someone else's pills. Uh, just like I said, there's hundreds of different brands of pills out there. And so their brand might be different than your brand. And it could affect how your birth control pills are working on your body. So make sure you're just using your birth control. Uh, if you forget your birth control, like you go on vacation, you forget it. Sorry, just, you know have your period that week, and then when you get back, start it up again. Uh, I know it probably sucks, but nothing much else you can do, unfortunately. Cool. So that is all I have about birth control pills. Um, and we will be back to talk about plan B in case we don't take, we're not on birth control and we have some sort of unprotected sex or our condom falls off or breaks or things like that. So check out our plan B episode up next.